paper like this. What's going on, y'all? So we're going to just tap in and see what's going on. Um, I'm feeling good this morning. Okay. Um, it's Sunday. So, you know, I put my gospel on. I was just vibing out, you know, doing what I do. Just being in your own energy, your own element. Like, what you call it? Appreciating solitude or um, even enjoying your own company is what I wanted to say. But yeah, it's definitely in that energy. So let's tap in and see what's going on for my beautiful collective. Third period. Okay, I am in my purpose. Confirmation. Yeah, I am in my purpose. So whoever you are, you're definitely in your purpose. You're definitely doing what you're meant to do. I'm hearing like, make sure you're saying your daily affirmations, just speaking light into yourself, you know, telling yourself you can do this, you can accomplish whatever this is that you're facing, that you're struggling with at this moment. It's like, you really can do whatever you set your mind to, you gotta just set the tone and make sure you're working towards it every day. And I'm hearing like, a little goes a long way, so yeah, healing spells. I feel like whoever you are, you have the power to heal you and others. Okay, it says be gentle with yourself. Life is a, is a journey. So it's basically just taking it one day at a time. Okay, like whatever you don't like or enjoy about yourself is like, you know, knowing you have the power to heal that. But at the same time, not being hard on yourself. Not like beating yourself up about it, like showing yourself grace. That's why I said a little really goes a long way. What else is going on for the collective? Or what else do the collective need to hear? What else does my beautiful collective need to hear? Okay, you have I am highly sensitive right now. So it's like whoever you are, you feel things deeply. Um at this time, it's just like you you know, okay. And I feel like because you're sensitive, you could have been crying a lot or like little things just get you emotional and it's like it don't always have to be sad tears like you could be crying happy tears too where it's just like you feel good you're expressing your gratitude i mean like somebody could be speaking to the most high god you know praying and just voicing your opinion you could get emotional about that because i feel like whoever you are is like you feel as though your voice is finally being heard things that you felt were turned a blind eye to when it came to the most high it's like now you're seeing things are working out in your favor or you're seeing that you know i'm hearing letting the chips fall where they may so it's like you you stop you stop controlling the situation it's just like you started letting things be what it's going to be and letting things flow how they're going to flow yeah it says my vent my new venture will bring upon success and money don't make me i make the money so it's like yeah, but it's like whoever you are, you you come into this crossroads where it's like you're going to do you and be you no matter what you have or don't have. Okay, people could have tried to um make you feel less than because they have things that you don't have, but it's all about like it's like these people like it'd be the energy behind it. You get what I'm saying? So I'm getting um I'm hearing like, I don't know why I'm hearing scared money don't make no money. So it's like, if you scared about having lack, or it's like when you do get money, you holding on to it or something like that. It's like, I feel like just be free. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. It's like, if you handling what you got, you know, as far as like, I'm getting, don't not handle your responsibilities or handle what's going to bring you like invest in yourself basically like you know what i'm saying don't be scared to go broke investing in yourself because the reward is going to be way bigger than what you anticipated or what you even put in you get what i'm saying it's like if you put this amount of money you're gonna get 10 times that back in investing in yourself that's the energy that i'm getting Your, like write a list write your goals and you know set your intentions even if you do it week by week you know what i'm saying certain small like if you're somebody who get overwhelmed easy do it week by week set your intentions day by day this day i'm gonna do this this day i'm like you know what i'm saying even if you don't do it the whole seven days 
you do it three days, then after the third day, you do the next four days. You get what I'm saying? But it's all about setting your intentions. Yeah. It says everything I need, I have in abundance. That's what I'm saying. It's like use what you have to get to where you're trying to go. Because it's like where you're going is going to be successful. You get what I'm saying? But it's like you can't sit here and tell yourself, oh, I don't have this. Oh, I don't have this amount to do this. Oh, I need this amount. No, you don't. Like, it's literally about, and it's like, even if, if you really want to do something, you're going to save. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when God see you working, you're going to move halfway. I don't give a fuck if you got $75. If you need to save $5 or $10 to get to, and, and still take care of what you have to take care of, you do that because it's going to work out for you. and my destination is closer than it appears yeah see it's something and then i see i am passionate it's like whoever you are it's like you once you because you had the first card out was i'm in my purpose so it's definitely like when you when you find out what you hear and meant to do it feels good you know what i'm saying so it's like you have this intention set to where it's like i want to do this um but I need this, or I don't have this, but, like, you know what I'm saying, it's like somebody, it's like, you go back and forth in your head about wanting to do something, but not knowing how you're going to get the finances or get something to make it work, yeah, Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles, I'm telling you, something is going to work out into your favor, to where this is going, this is this new venture that's bringing success, bringing this Ten of Pentacles in, It's really something about investing in yourself and like not worrying about like it ain't no course when it comes to being a boss is what i heard or a course to be the boss like something like that like to where it's like don't be afraid to you know use what you got but it's like at the same time don't focus on the pinnacle okay because if you're doing something and you enjoy doing it and you passionate about it you don't care about the money yes you would like your accolades but at the same time you like it's a, it's a bigger reward you know what i'm saying look wheel of fortune six of, six of pentacles i'm telling you something is going to work in your favor i'm getting something about like um your, god is about to use your profits to bless others so you don't even got to worry about that it's like you really don't have nothing to worry about. I'm getting you're somebody who give when you don't have. Okay, you could be in a place and you could have. You know what I'm saying nothing. You it's like you don't even need to be here. But somebody you could be in a restaurant. If somebody can you buy me food, you gonna buy it. Even if it's spending your last, you gonna do that. And this is why it's like God is making a way. God is really finna bless you because you got the ten of pentacles coming out. You got the lovers, the ten of pentacles, and the six. I mean, and the two of swords. I feel like you don't even see this coming, and that's crazy because look, you got the page of pentacles coming back out, and then the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the tempest behind that, and that's the seventeen pentacles which breaks down. I mean, 16 pentacles, which brings back down to that seven. It's like you've in, you've been investing in something. Or it's like continue to invest in yourself. Continue to give. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even when you don't. It's like it's, it's nothing to give. You know what I'm saying? It's like just continue to pour into yourself, pour into others. And I'm talking about, I'm not speaking on people. I'm speaking on, like, randoms when god laid on your heart to do something for somebody it could be a stranger in the street you do it even if it don't make sense because that's where your blessings gonna come in at with the star on the page of wands two of wands yeah I, I feel like you got a fixed vision and it's something you want to do and it's like it's coming information is coming and this information is going to be very very valuable very valuable yeah eight of pentacles this may be this opportunity this new venture that you're working on i'm also getting somebody may want to come 
and collab or give you some creative ideas. Not even give you creative ideas because I feel like you create your own creative ideas. Yeah, with this empress at the bottom of the deck. It's like, yeah, her name. Somebody is also about to invest in you. I'm getting that. Okay. With this king of pentacles, knight of swords. This could be this lover. Somebody is upset too. Somebody is upset that what's coming for you, like it can't be taken. Yeah, I can't make it up. Five of Wands and then the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. I see the Devil. What's this? The Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah. See, somebody's trying to get away with doing something, or somebody was trying to, like, it could be this King of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to come through with that Knight of Sword energy and create some sort of conflict. When it comes to you or this Emperor, or when it comes to you and this Emperor, because you got the Lover's card with the Ten of Pentacles, so you know that's, that's family, that's love, that's happiness, that's success. That's all of that. And I feel like this is the, the most high is about to bless you where you don't even see it coming. But I feel like other people see it. Like I said in my last video, it's people who literally see your manifestations coming into fruition via dream state. These people see because they so fucking tapped into what you got going on. Yeah. It's like everything that they were trying to invest in, one, is coming to the limelight. That's when I don't even read reverses, but with this moon and the seven of pentacles coming out, it's like it's coming to a long life. And it's like everything that they thought they were investing in, they didn't get nothing out of it. Look, page of pentacles. It was like somebody was so fixed and holding on to the vision of taking something that was yours. But it's like, no, they can't. I'm also getting like, pray for your person. Because if you're going through some sort of turmoil, you're in chaos and conflict, so is this person. You guys are definitely mirroring each other's energy. But it's like somebody is doing something. <laughs> somebody is doing something in secrecy and it's not working. I'm also getting that this emperor is moving in secrecy when it comes to coming toward you because they know the, this five of wands, devil energy, seven of sword energy that's coming around. But somebody is definitely like, yeah, with this page of pentacles coming back out. It's like, yeah, somebody got their eye, like, on you. Somebody also, it's like, wow, somebody got their eye on you and looking at you as some sort of investment. Somebody also got their eye on you and looking at you in a tricky energy to where it's like, yeah, yeah page of swords, three of swords. It's like, look, and then you got the four of swords. It's like, with this page of swords, three of swords, this could be this king of pentacles, but it's, or this page of pentacles could be a king of whichever one. But it's like somebody is watching you because they want a piece of your pie. They want some of what's coming for you. Ace of swords. Somebody wants to be a part of what's going on or what's coming in for you. And it's like, no. No, no, no. Somebody also knows that you're healed. And it's like you see right through them. So it's not going to work. Even if they try to do some funny shit. Something is going. Something fast is going to happen. Yeah. Look, then you got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. See, I feel like some people people are looking at. <laughs> it's funny because I'm getting this energy where people feel like you're just waiting for this knight in shining armor, fourteen fourteen on the clock to come through and sweep you off your feet and, and take care of you. And it's like, I didn't see that ace of, it's like you, you creating something for yourself. You're investing in yourself. Somebody wants you to be, or it's like this energy of being stingy with, with, with yourself. And it's like, you're not being that. Don't be cheap with yourself. You know what I'm saying? If it's good for you to, like, if that's, like, you know, like, I feel like, How can I say? It's something about doing something for humanity purposes, but it's things you have to do in order to get to that level. 
and it's like you can't cheat yourself okay i'm getting like you can't pour out of an empty cup basically so it's like taking care of yourself and taking care of what you need to take care of in order to get, get to, to that level to where you can use your pockets to bless others that's what your what your goal is but it's like at the same time it's being mindful of the people who want to take 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 and never give and that could be something as small as your energy yeah period truth you are hiding from your true self and forth and away you need to make a decision I see it may be a decision when it comes to uh, opportunity. I heard job opportunity or just moving forward in life and whatever it is that you're doing. I'm hearing something about like putting yourself out there. Let me give you an evil eye. Somebody is look. This you got copycat and evil eye. So you got somebody who, who wants to be just like you. They want to mimic everything you do. This person, like, like if they could live in your skin, they fucking would. But the crazy thing is, this person is wishing ill intent on you, and it, it's like that's so dumb as fuck. You wish ill intent on some. You see, I feel like people don't even know how energy works. They only know wish, 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 wish this on somebody, wish this on somebody. Cool. But then it's like you want to cloak this person's energy. You want to be this person. So where do you think that energy coming back to? You want this person to struggle, which they're not. But who you think going to struggle when you want to be like them? Like, it's weird. You got to upgrade. Your life is about to upgrade. Someone is not who they appear to be. So this person come off as if they got, like, they got their shit all together, whatever. But it's like they want to be like you. This person want to talk about your fuck-ups or not fuck-ups, but what you're battling with. But at the end of the day, they want to be like you. So it just, it don't be adding up. One plus one don't be equal to two. And this person is like, they fucking elevated, skip a few floors or something like that. Because it's like, it's no way in hell I'm going to look at somebody wish bad on them but then want to be like them so do you want to be them in the good or do you want to be like them doing bad i'm fucking confused like that don't make sense if you want to be like somebody wouldn't you want to wish them well and, and, and like i don't know i don't fucking know that's why i don't want to be like nobody be like your fucking self but this person is going through a breaking point anything anyway It's like things is becoming too much because it's like you put on this facade. You came off as like I'm telling you, this is somebody like when you meet this person, it's like you got it's it's like you could have met this person and felt like something was off with their energy. Like it was just something like nah, it's, you rubbing me the wrong way. It's gonna be different for all y'all, but it's like now this facade that they putting on is becoming too much to bear. Like they life is fucking upside down. But it's like this person is covering their face because it's like you don't want people to see you in that light. But that's that's who you are. Ain't no ain't no you don't want nobody to see you in that light. You are who the fuck you show you are. Simple as that. You got kicked out. This copycat this could be somebody who lives in the same place as you or you know, however it go, y'all could live in the same area. This person is about to lose their place. And it's like skeletons is coming out about their, this person. They're getting caught up for shit that they did. And it's because, like, you don't do shit like that. That's what I'm trying to say. You wishing evil eyes. It's like somebody was wishing you moved. Something happened. Like, y'all, you could you could imagine. You could imagine. Let me tell y'all. It was mad fires happening. I'm going to say it. Mad fires happening by my house. Like, it's like the energy, like, so it could have been something significant about fires, but it's like, I knew for a fact somebody was wishing the same thing happened to my place, and it's like, why would you do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just be weird energy. People don't know where, where to fucking direct their energy to. They just be doing any fucking old thing, and it be like, why? Why? It, it comes to that point, because it's like, it's not working, so what are you getting out of it? 
What do you get out of it? I'm also saying this person is being blackmailed. Somebody is using this person to, it's like they're using them at this point. They know this though. It's like somebody's actions is really catching up to them. Everything that they was wishing and wanting for you to happen, for, to happen in your life, it's, this is exactly what's happening to them. Simple. Simple. But this girl is like, you, you're going to grow from this situation. It's like this person desired to have your life. And then it's like, this has to come to an end in some sort of way. Because the, the, the evil eye it was real. Yeah, with this relax and, and new line of study, this person tapped into some, like, real dark shit. They tapped into some dark-ass energy, and, and I'm getting, like, these entities is on their ass. Because whoever you are, you, like, the, the crazy thing is, the, the thing is, you will feel the, the wrath. Like, you could tell when you're under some sort of spiritual attack, but at the same time, it's like, that shit really don't be penetrating you how they be thinking it's going to penetrate you. So then it's like... All right, this bitch is too fucking strong, too powerful, but it's like, so when do you stop? You just gonna keep trying new shit? Like, somebody is fucking up their whole life. And it's, the crazy thing is, like, I'm getting, like, their lineage. Like, the shit that they're doing is creating karma for their kids, kids, kids. For real, for real. The shit that they doing is creating some heavy, heavy loads of karma. They not gonna, it's not going to just end with them. And you know why? Because these people was doing shit over you, over your kids. Man, shit, like, they, they did not, it, it was no, it was no boundaries to where this person was going. With this therapist and angel numbers here, it was no boundaries. It was no, okay, I'm going to do this. It was no boundaries. This person had no bounds to what they would do to try to come for you or to try to stop you or get in your way. And it's almost sad. Because they racked up some heavy, heavy loads of karma. Heavy loads. I feel like whoever you are, you're somebody who's an observer. You observe. People want people expect you to speak and mm -mm. you observe. And I feel like people observe you. And then people try to downplay you and make you feel small. How you gonna try to downplay somebody you you wanna be like so fucking bad? Like how? Let's be let if you want if you gonna be any if we gonna be anything, let's be fucking for real. How you trying like I don't be understanding it. It's like this person would be like, Oh, well look at they here, they don't do this. Oh, look at this, look at this. And it's like, but you turn around and want to be like them. If you don't like my hair, if you don't like my nails, if you don't like my skin, if you don't like how I dress, if you don't like how I talk, if you don't like how I cook, if you don't like how I do anything, why do you feel the need to be around me? Why you feel the need to copy everything that I do? It don't make sense. It don't make sense. It's like somebody need to practice what they preach because they sit there and point the finger at you and then they go and do some whole other shit. Somebody was also working with castor oil. That's significant. So if you see castor oil in this person's house or some shit like that, this person was definitely using that shit to, to do whatever little rituals they thought they was doing on you. Okay, you have the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Something about Detroit, Michigan, North Carolina. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Somebody was going across states doing fucking spell work. Well, they were paying people in these states to do spell work on you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, no retribution. When the hate don't work, they start telling lies. Play games with, play stupid games with stupid prizes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this spell work got somebody looking like a grandma. Church goers. Look, I'm telling you, beauty spells. All of this shit that they were doing back. I cannot make it up. Oh my goodness. I feel like I want to make that the title of the video because it's like.
these spells got this person looking like a fucking grandma. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to make it this way, but it's like, because why are you doing that? It's like, if nobody is bothering you, why the fuck are you bothering people? People realizing just how protected you are, though. I bet you that. I can bet you that. I can bet you that. People, see, they, oh, they see. If they don't know nothing else, they know the protection around you real, real. They don't know shit else, honey. They know that. Cause they feeling this shit. I feel like you, this is shit you did for people when like whoever you all of us in the wheel of fortune again. Things is really turning in your favor. Somebody somebody middles more than they get you. Yeah, with this daughter of baskets and the big mom of the son. You just you hold weight. You know what I'm saying? You you really hold weight. Whoever you are, it's like I'm hearing ancient knowledge, but at the same time, yeah, it's like you. It's like your lineage is gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know nothing else, you know that. I'm also hearing people gonna be coming to you for advice. People gonna be coming to you for healing. Father of coin. Here this father of pentacles go. Is King of Pentacles go again? What's going on with this person? That's too many. I've seen the five, six, and seven of knives. What's going on with this person? This could be somebody who trying to this this could be this person that's trying to get a piece of the pie. Yeah, with that five, six, seven of swords, yeah. Okay, we have the fool, the free man, and the mother of baskets. Three of baskets. I see the emperor now. This emperor father of coin, for some of y'all, this could be the same person. This person that's wanting to come through and invest in you. And for others of y'all, this father of coin is somebody who want to take. I feel like whoever you are, though, with this mother announced, you, you know, you know a lot. You know what I'm saying? You you know a lot. I'm really picking up on ancient knowledge here. Yeah, with this strength out of wands here, somebody is just upset. They are upset with the Empress and the Tower. They're upset at this new beginning that's coming in your life. They're upset that you found your purpose. They're upset that you stood fast and you ain't going to be swayed any which way. And they're upset that if you do go off your path, you know how to get back on. They're upset that if you Fall sick or fall short, you know how to heal yourself. These people is just mad as fuck. Simple. They're mad. The judgment is like you have a lot of protection around you. I'm also getting something about red and black beads. You may need to get some red and black beads for you and your children. I'm telling you, the protection around you is so real, though, baby. Like I said, if these people don't know nothing, they know that. If they don't know shit else, they know that. People are stuck between a rock and a hard place for what it is that they did for you, too. It's like, damn, there's no way out. It's like, that's how we're going to fall. when they thought it wasn't all the lies, the backstabbing, the manipulation, all that shit. It's coming back full circle. Full circle. Mm -mm. Alright, let's see what comes out of this deck. I'm not even planning to make this video too long, but let's see. Yeah, it says nothing lasts forever. Enjoy the good, learn from the bad. Yeah, so it's like you taking it, you take everything to what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever situation you're in right now, whatever financial constraints or whatever it is that you may be going through right now, it's like, you know, nothing lasts forever. So the same way, like, it's like, it's just all about timing. Like all this generational 
her shit stop ready too. Like I'm telling you, trust her baby. Secretly meeting. People know what's coming for you. <laughs> People really they know. All those tears you cry watered your garden, they can't get shit from you. I'm telling you. I also seen listen to your child, they giving messages. So what you think kids are just randomly talking? No. They know. Yeah, they read for money caused this. I'm telling you, somebody people have shit that's yours. As above, so below. See, something had to happen in the five D and then it manifested its way down. Okay? So it's coming, yeah, before the new year. So look, cut them off, dead him, act like you never met him. And it is this is the year the eight. Y'all, y'all wouldn't believe um oh, I caught them. Yeah, so it's something about choosing your battles wisely. I see rich man, so you could be this rich man, or it could be a rich man coming your way, but it's like you don't even got nothing to worry about because at the end of the day, like I said, somebody feel like you waiting on somebody to come sweep you off your feet. They don't know you have your own. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's in your blood, right? It's in your bloodline. You have your own. Like, you don't need nobody for nothing. This person could have felt like that. You got people working with the moon, too. This is so funny. These people, they, they be under that moon on some shit. And it's like, for what? I see studying tarot. Somebody is regretful for what they did to you. Somebody could have also wanted to block you once you started to study in terror because it's like you was tapping into what the fuck they were doing. The spirit saying, don't stop. You got people group chatting about you. I'm telling you, they watch you. I know people be watching me. I don't give a fuck. I do. I would, I would not care, bro. I wouldn't care if you see me today and then came on this YouTube platform and see me small. I do not care. And that's why sometimes I do show my face because, no, this is confirmation. This is me. This is she. The fuck? Like, people is weird. <laughs> and it's like, they know you know. So it's just like, what's the point? If anything, book a fucking read. But I don't even want your money because all money ain't good money any fucking way. Like, that'd be the funny part. People be thinking you need them or want them for something or want their support. Like, we be good without it, baby. We be good without it. Confirmation. So let's close this out. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Yeah, I feel like whoever you are, like, your creativity is kicking off. Okay, you using your imagination. You're seeing where you could go, and you know you could go there. Simple as that. Ain't nobody gonna stop you. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I feel like this situation that you're going through or experiencing, it's made you more conscious. It's made you more aware to your surroundings and the things that's going on around you. It's like you no longer have this, but like. Like, it's like your third eye is wide open. When your vision was fucked up, it could be getting clear. I'm getting, like, some of y'all, this could be literally, like, somebody who could have had bad vision. Like, it may be something that's happening to where you about to have 2020 vision. Okay, for some of y'all, I don't know, I'm hearing LASIK. Somebody could have been thinking about getting LASIK surgery. I'm getting, like, if, if this is confirmation for you that it's going to work well. If you were scared about it, like, you good. Yeah, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. I'm telling you, this is this that remaining teachable. Like, you're the type of person, you like, all right, yeah, I'm going through this, but we're going to learn from it. Like, I ain't about to just go through this shit for nothing. Like, I'm going to get something out of it. For real, for real. Yeah, the discipline, I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. So it's something about having goals, writing your goals out and reaching them. Knowing that whatever you want to do, you really can do it. It's all about disciplining yourself. It's all about disciplining yourself because we all got free will. So it's like, what you using your free will to do? Okay, it says I'm a limitless being and can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And that's a fact. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah, some, it's like, <laughs> you don't have nothing to worry about. I'm almost getting like if you've been studying in tarot, like, whatever you've been doing, just be patient. Be patient with yourself. I said that in the beginning. Cause it's really about the journey you don't have it's, it, it's like small steps go a long way a 
okay, it says, and I acknowledge my fear, but replace it with the insight of awareness. So it's like, you have nothing to fear. Like, you really have nothing to fear. Don't walk with fear. Oh, people watching me. Oh, they following me. Oh, they doing this. They stalking me. Fuck them. Fuck them. Tell them bitches, get your good side. For real, for real. Like, <laughs> for like, I swear, I felt that with my heart. Like, tell these people, get your good side. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because it's like, don't fear nothing. Don't fear, oh, how I'm going to do this. How I'm going to do that. Nothing. It's just all about trusting the process and continuing to do what you do. Continue to every day ask God, what am I supposed to be doing today? What is my mission today? Give me the clarity, the understanding, the wisdom, the knowledge to see what it is that you're telling me to do, to understand the signs and symbols, and then to follow them. So that's the message that I have for you all, and until next time.